And you know, people say you gotta go to the gym because gym has everything. Like I said, my best workouts were at home on that old brand that we don't mention anymore here. But no, I've mentioned PowerTech Power all okay. the time. Well, Power I've got Tech, no okay. mentioning PowerTech. Well, been Power Tech was, PowerTech was a good company when they sent me equipment when I lived in America. Had the best workouts. Now, people have come along and made it better. And even this one, like you said, you've got the pull downs with all the good adjustments. And also, what about seated rows, you say, Lee? Well, I'll show you. Get the seat. Pull it back like that. Boom. Take this here. Look at that. Boom. Now, do I have a handle somewhere up here for uh, a seated row? Uh, yeah, here you go. No, no, we mate. Oh, that one. Yeah, okay, we'll use that well, one there. There you go. Why not? Oh, hold on. Let me, rather than try and stretch and hurt myself, why go to the mountain when you can bring the mountain to you? Here we go. Look at that. There we go. And again, the same with seated rows. You can do all variations, you know, close, wide. But I like, generally when I did seated rows, I did them a bit closer. But I do actually like this sort of grip as well, because normally most seated rows back in the day, will you stop banging around with the machines while I'm trying to show people stuff, please? You get amateurs behind the camera, people, they just go fucking crazy. Just do your job, leave the machines to me, all right? Thank you. Like, you know, most seated rows are generally like this. <coughs> you know, in here, same sort of thing, squeeze the back. But then, if you want to go wider, similar as if you're doing a barbell row, this grip's really good too. More for up across the upper back. Whereas in close, it gives you more middle thickness than that. But here, like this, really good. And again, no matter what arm width you are, what height you are, you can adjust it to as wide as you want or in one closer. So pretty much, you can do every back, lat, pull down, tricep. And also because it drops down, you've got cables, triceps, biceps. That's probably the president calling. Just tell Donald Trump I can't be with his campaign right now. I'm doing back like that. So yes, you can do it all again with that. And as I said, once you take that off, you could stand here and do cable curls. You can do your triceps, you can do one arm. So many things you could do with this one machine that does everything. And we've been to gyms and we've seen gyms with the bulky lap pull downs, the seated rows. They take up so much room, look at this. If you had one of these in your garage and just like a bench and a little power rack and a barbell, you know, you could pretty much, like the Iron Master set that I have at home, I can guarantee you, if you had the Iron Master dumbbells, which I have, they can go up to about 170 pounds with attachments. If you had this, a bench, maybe a shorter bar, a longer bar, some free weights like this, there is nothing you can't do at home with just with that that you can do in a commercial gym, trust me. I've done it and I've won pro shows doing it. So the main thing is at home, some people get bored or they go to the phone, but I actually find at home I have better workouts because turn your phone off, do whatever, and you're more focused, there's no distractions, there's no other people walking around. So sometimes at home you have your best workout. So go get it done. And you've got the equipment here, so there's no excuse not to. And we're going to show, get you to show some of the old school bodybuilding exercises, you know, how to hit different body parts mm -hmm. that you don't need mountains of fancy equipment. Exactly. Well, like I said, if you had a bar, you had one bar, the shorter ones and the longer ones, and you've got a power rack and a bench. The ATX has that adjustable bench. You've probably got one somewhere around here. I got one at home. It goes from flat, the decline, it yeah. goes up in the shoulder presses. If you've got that in the power rack with a bar and dumbbells, you can do flat bench, decline bench, shoulder presses, 
laterals, you can lay on it to do rows. If you've got the power rack, you can do squats in the power rack, front squats, back squats, you can do lunges, barbell rows, you get the dumbbells, you can do dumbbell rows standing off the bench. This thing here covers everything from every type of lat pull down, the seated rows, the cable curls, the tricep push downs of all different types. So like I said, just in this space here, if, you, if I was at home and I had a power rack in the middle here with that and those bars and this, that's, you, you've got everything here that you'd have at a Anytime Fitness or a World Gym. Yeah, you have got the flashy lights and all the yeah. weird people, but if you want to build a physique and get in shape and be healthy, you got it just right there. Yeah, you don't want to look like that guy. That guy over there, Matt, he, he ignores all this information. He doesn't listen. Mate, so he's huge. I'm going to start stickers. Don't be a Matt. Mate. Get gym equipment. <laughs> no, no. Um... Ever since he came back from Thailand, he's never been the same. Yeah. Told you to take your shots before you went, didn't I? Yeah. Never listens. But no, um, the high-low pulley, I reckon, mm -hmm. would be the, one of the most underrated pieces of equipment because now with all the different attachments you can get, mm -hmm. um, have, have, you, have you tried the... the um... These ones? Yeah. yeah. These are pretty good. And these all, like I said, too, because a lot of gyms are starting to get these in, which are good. And the hand placement on them is good. And like I said, you get this one. I know there's a smaller one. Yeah. I think there's a one a little bit wider. I prefer this one or the closer one for either the seated rows or the pull downs and stuff. Because sometimes I just find that hand position sometimes is better than that position. So like I said, they all have a good thing. But like I said, this is really good, these handles. I've noticed a lot more gyms around where I live in Newcastle have a lot of anytime fitnesses are getting these handles in. But yeah, like, so in a gym, they might have three or four different back machines. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I know a high-low pulley is not going to be exactly the same, but when you no. add up all the different attachments and yeah. all well, the like different said, variations. Well, normally if you go to a gym, they'll have some sort of cable machine, but then they might have the hammer one that goes this yeah. way, the hammer one that comes this way, or the hammer low one or the Dory Natsy type hammer one. You can do all that on here. Yeah. And the good thing is too, you've got the weight stack, you can add bands. If you're sometimes a little bit lazy, you don't have to unload plates and put plates on and off. And trust me, when you're doing back type stuff like this, yes, free weights are really good for like the deadlifts, partial deadlifts and stuff, but you can build a great back even just from these type of cable movements. And like I said, with all the attachments, Trust me, there isn't going to be one part of your back you're not going to hit. That's where you need to get the ATX hyperextension for your lower back. And there's a, a, a bodybuilder that does some videos in, in Holland for ATX, and he does a lot of really light one-arm work. Mm -hmm. yeah. 